What is going on? Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you've had a great first kind of week at school. You've learned some things, you've done some new things, you've been on the computer a whole lot. And I'm here back again to give you a little bit of break. So hopefully if you've checked out the YouTube channel or you've checked out the choice board or something like that, you might have seen our lesson on our twirly whirly whirly rainbow gig. So maybe some of you have done that, right? And we talked a little bit about Roy G. Biv, right? The orders of the rainbow. So we've got a little bit of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. So, which makes me super happy, right? So we are gonna do another Roy G. Biv Art Project because color is so important. So get ready. You're going to need some things, but this is gonna take some time and this is not your normal kind of art project, guys. Uh, we're not gonna be drawing. Uh, we're not going to be painting. We're gonna be using the stuff around our house to create some visual art. So give me a minute. I'm gonna get all my stuff together, stop looking at myself in the wrong camera, and we'll get right back with it, okay? okay see you in a so minute. So we're back. So I have exactly what we're gonna talk about today. We're talking about the color wheel, and this is a great example. This hangs in my room. This is my color wheel. And color wheels come in all different kinds of ways. So we have this one right here. This is a color wheel that I actually found at the Target one spot. Uh, this one's way simpler than this one, isn't it? So you can see we have Roy G. Biv. We've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. On this one, it gets a little bit more intense. And so we have all these different colors that reds, uh, reds and blues, when they're mixed together, they make these incredible blue violets and red violets. Same with red and yellow. You can see all the colors in between that it makes. Same with greens. Color wheels are really important to artists. They teach artists how to mix colors and what colors look good together. So even you could get you could get even more advanced. This is a watercolor color wheel and you can see there's the colors on the outside. And depending upon how I spin my wheel, they kind of show you it's the neatest thing. I don't know if you can see that very well, but if you see it says adding red to green, you can see right there red adding red to green usually gets you a brown, a duty color, right? But if you add yellow to a blue green, look at this lime green color you can get. So we can spin this around and it can show you what those colors and how they change. So there's even a little bit different on the back. And they show you how you can alter all these colors. So color wheels are very, very important to artists. They're the key tool that everyone needs. In fact, I had a friend who needed help with color mixing and I had to actually teach her how to use this color wheel this summer. So that's exactly your project. You guys are going to make a color wheel, but your color wheel is not the same kind of color wheel. You, what shape is this color wheel? That's right, it's a circle. So a circle can also be called a mandala and, and everybody pronounces it a little different, but that's a circle and we're gonna use, I want you to find things around your house in the color wheel and create your own visual color wheel. So let me get this other color wheel out of the way. So I have this bucket here that has blue things, purple things, yellow things. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dump out my bucket and I'm gonna start with my red things. So I have a red apple. Oops, you can't really see him. A red apple, maybe a red pair of scissors. Oh, I even have a red lid. Right, I can put those, and it's all about composition. Composition is the way something looks in a setup. What comes after red? We've got orange. Orange was hard for me to find, so I have, I have an orange basket. I didn't have a lot of orange things, um, but I do have a bottle of orange paint, right? I have a bottle of orange paint, so you can see our color wheels come together. I also have, once again, another pair of scissors, an orange, handled scissors. What comes after orange? Yellow, that's right. So I have a yellow apron and a yellow butterfly. Oops, we don't want to cover up. So can you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm doing there? What comes after yellow? That's right. So let's find some green. I have an orange spongy guy. Back him up a little bit. I have, I found a block of green clay and a green marker. I even found 
a green dinosaur, right? So I'm arranging these in what? Totally a circle. I have a blue basket. I have a blue ruler, right? And then we have purple. I found, whoop, that's not, purple was also hard for me to find. I have that really cool purple bucket and the evil stepmother, right? Now, my color wheel is not as beautiful as yours could be, but do you see how I've made the color wheel out of everything in my house, right? So what I want you girls and boys to do is I want you to walk around your house, find the things in the color wheel, create them in a circle, and take a picture of it and send it to me. I wanna see your color wheels and what you can do. If you notice, I've even created a color wheel on my clock. I've used old marker tops, right? If you look over here, I've got, now that's not really a color wheel, but they have gone in the color wheel direction in Roy G. Bibb with flowers. So you can do all kinds of things with the color wheel. I want you to be creative. I want you to be spunky, funky, different. Use video games, use food. You could do it all with Skittles. Oh my gosh, that's the best idea ever. You could do a, you could do a color wheel with candy, right? So I want you to create me a visual color wheel and send me them to my email or my dojo and I'm gonna show everybody at school. I'll see you later and good luck creating. Bye.